Hey, it's me, Fat Guy. I'm so happy to see you back. Oh my gosh, I, I just love you guys so much. You know, I know I'm supposed to be a fat guy and all, but I'm starting to worry about my proportion. I mean, my 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 upper body's much more skinny than my my bulbous body. If you roll me down the hill, I could be a boulder. Oh my gosh, you just figured out his entire purpose. Oh yeah, hey everyone, it's me, Ryan the Hobo. I'm back in Dangaropa, the silent edition. Shh. So I know my gimmick. Whenever the yellow letters come up, is to scream at a alarming rate away from the microphone. Uh, but uh, my dad has a little little student, little kid student, and I'm pretty sure if I start screaming at anything that comes on the screen, I'm going to scare her <laughs> to no end. <laughs> Maybe my dad can use it to his advantage. Mister, what's that up there? Oh, that's just the crazy homeless guy we keep up there for all the bad students to go. So, little update. In the last episode, I mentioned that I was going to have John and Nick pick a character that I will go after. Well, Nick and John both pick kind of the same character. Uh, John wanted to pick another one, but it was a lot easier to just fuse them together. They both picked... Uh... Oh boy, Ryan, how many names do you remember? Leon? McMuscles? They picked the cute bunny girl, okay? They both picked the cute bunny girl. Uh, th that's the one character that, uh, they seem to really like. So, she will be my fourth person I'm gonna go after. Unless, once again, that's not a thing. I don't know. Episode 4 hasn't come out yet. That's gonna come out in, like, two days. For me. Why am I even telling you this? <laughs> Shut up, Ryan. Oh, and also, Matt threw his two cents in, and the character he picked was also the bunny girl. <laughs> but he also picked Toko, so that's what I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna also go for Toko. Wait a minute. Wait a cotton pig man, was it cute? What is this? What is this? I have just discovered that Mr. Morals and Miss Bitchy Lady are wearing the exact same boots. <laughs> Coincidence? Yeah, probably. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Wow, I, 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 that save spot was right in the middle of this whole conversation, wasn't it? My mind froze and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. Listen, Makoto, as long as you're not like opening an offer to all these ladies here. Hey, dominate my nerves. Anyone? Anyone? Except muscles. I'm pretty sure if you hit me, my entire bone collection would turn to dust. Also, this is Makoto's decision, not a Hobo Ryan's decision. The air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. I took everything I had just to endure that weight. Makoto, that's a really nice picture. I know, Bear Sama, that I don't remember your voice, and I think that's right. <laughs> but for as heavy as the air felt, all it took to pierce it was her sharp words. And? Yeah, her sharp words. I'm totally behind you, Makoto. I'm certainly not saying that because I don't know which one Kirigiri is. Oh, God, but Ryan, you still got to do a voice for her. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take it that it's one half of the booty twins. So, what are you going to do now? Hey. <gasps> Just stand around and glaring at each other. Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us all back to reality. <laughs> right, she's right. Listen to me. Oh shit, do you see that TV? This place really is spooking me out. Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. That's what my grandpappy said to me. You forget such a simple fact. I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. You hear me? Please, someone hit me. I can't forgive myself. Somebody hit me. Punish me. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, Makoto, looks like you got a friend, am I right? <laughs> Jesus, if you have time to yell about it, you have time to do something about it. However, perhaps, but what is this mission exactly? Stupid. 
idiot to look for a way out, duh. Wow, I'm starting to already regret my decision. And we totes need to find whoever was controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of him. Woof, woof, woof. But, but before we do all that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out the school regulations. Monokuma mentioned before doing anything else. This is fine. True, you know, I really should not have waited like two weeks to record this because I've forgotten all the voices. True, if we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Shit. All right, so then. Fine, let's hurry up and check out that stupid rules anyways. Already. Ah, oh, frick. <laughs> it's already gone. Oh, shh. Hey, that's me. After turning on my e-handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. So just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up front and center. You, you literally just said the exact same thing twice. Then from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulation icon. An itemized list appeared on screen. It was the school, oh, the school regulation. In other words, the rules being imposed on the rule the rules being opposed on us all. I feel like that should be the rules being opposed onto us. Doesn't that sound better? You decide in the comments! Our students may reside only within the school. Leaving campus is unacceptable use of time. Nighttime. Is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and is punished accordingly. Are you telling me I can't have sweet, passionate love with Miss McMuscles? With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. Oh. Oh, shit. So, essentially what they're saying is, if someone murders someone, if they get discovered, like the students, like if he gets caught in the act of killing, that means what it well I, I better ready read on let's see nope not gonna tell me <laughs> oh but that's intriguing so it's gonna be like a game of clue also that means someone's gonna die you know someone's gonna die additional school regulations may be added as necessary feeling a slight dizziness I raised my face up from the screen as I looked around, I saw the same stormy expressions on everyone's faces. Stop fucking around. <laughs> Makoto, I think Mondo just made a liar out of you. That's not very stormy face. That's a face that's he's like, you see this hand? I'm gonna grab your balls with it. Why? I haven't really thought that far, but I'm gonna squeeze them. This is bullshit. What the hell? <coughs> oh, almost threw up. That's okay. I keep going because I'm a trooper. How kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me. I know I'm shocked, man, though. I thought you were a great rule keeper. Well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Nothing! He already said nothing would happen! Celeste, were you even reading? He, he, he just said we could wander around the school all we wanted. Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. Once again! Water around school was one of the things we could do, Celeste. However... But if he got punished, like what we saw before, I don't think there'd be a respawn waiting for him. Oh, bless your heart, fat guy. <laughs> <laughs> that statement was so dumb, Mondo has been stunned. If Mondo never recovers, he's literally just stands there like that the whole game. Uh, I, 
I ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brothers pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. And... So what? What? I've made tons of promises that I still have to keep. That's so what? Piece of shit! You know, you know, seeing I've watched a lot of animes, I'm getting a real, like, kind of good vibe from Mondo. That statement where he's like, I always keep promises. I think they're going with the misunderstand teen. Oh, I'm just misunderstood. I'm just the, I'm just a good old gangster. Hey, everyone, it's me, GTO. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna hit on your mom. Boop, 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 boop. Hey, kids, I'm a gangster, but now I'm teaching now. So let me teach things like putting an elephant trunk on my dick. Boop, 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 boop. You mind if I hang out with uh, some kid that's getting bullied and then uh, molest women? Ooh, wow, out of context. That sounds really bad. Read the books, everyone. It'll make perfect sense. So I can't afford to die in here. <sighs> None of that made much sense to me. But you are saying you will follow the regulations, is that it? That's true. Oh. Oh, well, yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> hey, um, I have a question. I don't trust her at all. I do not trust Saeka. I have the burning feeling she's gonna be the one to snap and kill someone. Like, if, if I was to make a murder mystery, someone's dead, right? She's gonna be the one to do it. Unless she's the one who dies, then I may be a bit off. I'm still blaming it on her. <laughs> For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? Oh, yeah, that's the one I was asking about. Uh, I already read that. You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says, At least they were discovered. I was wondering about that myself. You have to kill someone without being found out. I'm not gonna get found out. I'm a, I'm a, I'm like a spaceman. What does that, what does that have to do with you being a spaceman? I'm gonna explain myself to you. I'm gonna be a spaceman. Toko, hold on a second. I'm, I'm more curious about this spaceman business. He's gone. He's gone. Holy shit! Is he in a rocket ship? Monokuma's just like, he's knitting a sweater in his office. <laughs> is that a- is that a rocket? Oh, I gotta say, I didn't see that coming, even though it was in the intro, technically. Oh, wow, I just thought about that. I should've really got rid of that rocket. <laughs> that's a- it's a pretty good work at rocket if you know how to work a rocket. Oh, well, back to knitting my sweater. <laughs> I sure hope Makoto likes his sweater. But- but- but why? Why- why do we have to do that? I don't see any reason to worry about it. But just about following the rules that my dentist that they explain to us. Such ignorance. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything about somebody from the to decide what to do with them. <laughs> Ooh. I think we just found out uh, Prissy Boy over there, secretly a fisherman. Don't- don't jab at me. That's not what that face says. That face says, jab at me. Jab at me hard. Harder. Harder. Continue. Harder. Harder. Leah, don't look at me judgmentally because of my joke. It's a clap. It's a clap. It's a classic joke. More like a full on stab. Well, for now, let's forget all that silly junk about murder or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. True. We need to find out where exactly we are. Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? You understand? There are tons of questions we need to answer! Let's do it! Oh god, I think I've got a voice for him. <laughs> I just realized who his intensity reminds me of. It reminds me of Macho Man Randy Savage. Say that's what we're gonna do! Official! He's Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh god, I gotta stop giving me voices to do that are gonna kill me. Damn straight! Okay, let's all start looking around! <laughs> I'm everyone's favorite baseball player! Hmm. Go, 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 go alone! I don't, I don't like this, this girl over here. She's, 
Oh god, she's dripping. I'm, I'm What? What? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? So I might already have started thinking about murdering my wish. It's me. <laughs> I checked all you guys. Are you dead? We can stand around with them with the mess of making it much easier for them? Hold on a second. Wait, hold on a second. That would never. What? Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why you all see some prefer when that graduation rule would make clear to you. Also, I now have hair. I, I've got a really hairy forehead. Oh, man. Puberty's kicking in pretty quick. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, um. But, but. <laughs> so I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Hold on! Like hell I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want! What? Out of my way, Plankton. What? What, what the fuck's that supposed to mean? Such ignorance. One tiny bit of Plankton dripped across the sea. So minuscule, so insignificant, they couldn't possibly have any kind of influence. Ocean. Oh, my cool voice went away. You're fucking dead. I'm gonna kick your ass. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop! It. We shouldn't. We shouldn't fight. We shouldn't fight. That's not average enough. Let's play. Let's play a game of Parcheesi. Anyone? Parcheesi? Mano, you look like a cheesy guy. Oh wait, no. Hold on a second. Don't take that out of context. Of the what the fuck you say? Some kind of goody goody little bitch. You also, Mondo, down. can you stop swearing? I'm trying not to I'm trying not to have a little girl hear my freaking sailor mouth go off, alright? Who do you think you who, 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 who? I somehow turned into the noise of Doom Guy checking walls. Who do you think you are talking to me like that? You think you're a fucking dad or something? Yes, Mondo, I am your dad. Oh no! I can't believe this! It all makes sense now! When I unpoof my hair, <laughs> it turns into Makoto's hair. <laughs> dad, I always wanted you to love me. Ne no, no, I wasn't. You son of a bitch! <gasps> you lied to me! Fuck you! Ow. That hurt. He punched me. He punched me right in the nipple. <laughs> and I flew back in a heap and I landed right on my comical 80s cartoon sound effect box. It was really embarrassing. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there and the next I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I'd kind of forgotten. The kind of people I'd been trapped here with. You forgot that the gang leader may have been a gang leader? Oh, It's a pretty average memory of you there, Makoto. My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. But I just lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade. Before it finally cut out completely. I died? <laughs> Makoto wakes up. Where am I? Makoto, this is God. I'm dead? Yes, Makoto. You did die. After you slipped backwards and fell. What do you mean I got punched? No, you didn't. You didn't get punched at all. You slipped backwards and comically fell into a bunch of boxes. I'm here to tell you, I may I may have I may have made a couple mistakes. What is that supposed to mean? So you wanna know why you're so average, right? Um I by actually put giraffe gene in you. <laughs> because I what? <laughs> like his neck race is really high. <laughs> 
This can't be. But remember, Makoto, you have to save everyone. Why is that? Ring, 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 ring. Oh, I got, hold on, I got a phone call. I saw you make that with your mouth. Hello? Oh, oh, it, you see, Mako, it seems that, uh, you know, things are happening in the world. I gotta go do it. Hey, you didn't answer my question. You get back down there and you be the hero that everyone needs. What, what do they need? More giraffes. What? And then he's just there. He's back in the world again, like right in the middle of why. And when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... <laughs> huh? Where am I? And who thought this wallpaper was a good idea? <laughs> See, Monokuma watch on the camera. And that's why he's my favorite. As if it had become part of my daily routine. I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. I'm just gonna throw this, this thought out here. Could this by any chance be your bedroom? Okay, so... Where am I now? You now have access to the handbook menu. You can use this to check the variety of information as you play. <laughs> Makoto, I don't think you need a handbook. Oh god, Makoto. You know what I feel like this is? If it, Like if I went out and I was like, Hey, hey Makoto, you want to have something to eat in this restaurant? What is, what is this place? Is this a Burger King? Makoto, it's a giant M on the door. Why would it be Burger King? Hold on a second, hold on a second. This is why I brought my handbook. Oh, frick, updates! Oh, now I'm never gonna figure out where I am. You can also load the game data under systems. Yes! All right, I don't care if everyone heard that downstairs. But I finally got the ability to save. I didn't even read that last one. I was so excited. Blah, 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 blah. Shut up. <gasps> I, 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 want, I don't know if I want to press it. I'm scared. I'm scared, everyone. Wait, was it the F1 or the F2 key? Oh, this is embarrassing. It's this one. Truth bullets! Review evidence and witnesses accounts you have made record of. Oh, this could be so fun. I'm gonna be like Sherlock Holmes! Except instead of being really good at it, I'm gonna be really, really average. My report card! I like how my report card literally is just how much I weigh, my height. Why is my chest on there? Hold on a second! Hold on a second! Why is my chest on there? Who cares about Makoto's breast size? I guess it's what the fangirls want. How do I exit out? There we go. Hold on, we gotta find our chest size. Yeah! Them some big pasongas! 35. Holy shit, she's got a bigger chest than freaking Tits Magoo. Ryan, I, I feel like, I feel like this is not what you're supposed to look up your report card for is to see how big everyone's tits are. How big's your tits? Hey, that's some big tits right there. Hey, he's got, good for him. <gasps> Ryan, do this, do this slowly and softly. Oh. Ooh. Ah. I did it. <laughs> I did it. I got the safe feature. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name's Makoto Nuggety Dupes. And this is my crib. As you can see here, I have only the highest technology for a bed. <laughs> this is my pet dog, Snoopy. This is my dog, Snoopy. He doesn't act much, but he's my best friend. Here's the nice table that I use to keep all my useful utensils, like a key. My favorite part of the room is the mysterious sneaking tree. That's one sneaky ass tree if you ask me. We're not gonna talk about that anymore. Of course, there are other features. I don't like talking about. <laughs> what we got here? Uh, It's a notepad. I guess the school must have given one to each of us. A surveillance camera. I hate the idea that someone might be watching me right now. We're not allowed to mess with the camera, so I better make sure I don't touch it. You know, this surveillance camera looks really shit. Because as you can see here, like, would you stop beeping? <laughs> I'm trying to make a point. 
You beep. You see how the camera's sitting right there? And there's the door. Why couldn't I just sneak out and he'd be like, Oh no, it's in my blind spot! Which is like, a big blind spot. There doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about the bed. Except for the fact it looks like it's literally a cardboard box. <laughs> it looks like something's in the drawer. <laughs> oh boy, tools for my erector set! It must be brand new. It's still in the shrink wrap. What an amazing present! I love it here! I don't really need this right now, so I'll just leave it here. Alright, well that's probably gonna be important. There's some kind of metal plates mounted here. Is it to keep us all trapped in here? Yeah, that's a good question. Why is there just random metal plates here? It makes no sense. I guess that could be a way of saying that that's, you know... No. No, it, it seems that they're just metal plates. <laughs> there is no windows. There's no windows at all. What's this? It's some kind of lint roller. <laughs> I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves. Is it bad that I honest to god thought the lint roller was a camera on the ground? <laughs> I really did! That's why I called him Snoopy! I thought he was like a little robo-dog. What's that? A secret trash can! Just an everyday trash can. I don't see any kind of trap door or hidden compartments or anything. Yay! <laughs> I made it! I made a buck! This must be the key to the room. My name's written on the keychain. Which means, it must be mine! That's right, Makoto, you get a new house, you get a new house! This would appear to be the bathroom. They locked me out of my own bathroom! <laughs> the dirty bastards. It's not opening, but I got to poop! Great, that's real cool, Monokuma. Give me a bathroom and lock me out of the bathroom. That, you know what, this guy is sick. This guy's sick. He can torture me all he wants, but this bathroom is it will not go unnoticed. There's a piece of paper hanging up on the wall which says, You've lost your pooping privileges. <laughs> <laughs> Announcement from the Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lockpicking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that water is turned off at night time. This school is a super rich school, but they don't keep the water on at night. You guys really are cheap bastards, you know that? <laughs> also, the bathrooms in the girls' room include a lock of their own. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> How come I'm locked on my bathroom? Well, it seems, Makoto, that we think you're a woman. Finally, we have prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. And for the boys, a tool kit. The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls! For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample. Don't think, just feel, and let's all enjoy ourselves! I crumbled up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. Ow! That old boy, Makoto, fight the system! Looks like the door leads outside. It's locked. So some of the rooms have locks, huh? I think I'm starting to understand this room. Must be! Get it, go for it! Do it, you can do it, buddy! You can figure it out! Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. Oh. Uh-oh. Is being knocked out considered sleeping? Am I giving trouble already? Oh, Makoto, why would you do this to me? You're embarrassing me in front of all the cute girls. And Monokuma-sama. This is my assigned dorm room! And in last place... Makoto! But everyone give him a complimentary round of applause! Oh, Makoto, holy shit. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. That answers that question. The next question is... What's everyone up to right now? <laughs> I honestly thought he was gonna be like, who carried me? And instead it's just like, I wonder what my new best friends are up to. There's only one way to find out! And that's to get out of here. I rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others. 
Do you think Mondo is the one who carried me? Like, he felt bad. He's like, oh, man, I'm sorry, man. Oh, shit, fuck damn, for shit, fuck, fuck, fuck damn. <laughs> is he all right? I think he's broken. But there was someone waiting for me there. It was like something out of an old TV show. <laughs> ah. Oh, that's what he meant. <laughs> In my mind. He's like, what are everyone's doing? Just goes outside, Mondo just goes, BAM! <laughs> Hits him again. <laughs> Every time you walk out, Mondo gives you another punch in the face. <laughs> oh, you know it's coming. So, let me guess, I have walked into the pop idol. Oh, uh, Sayaka? Who was that? Hello? Was that God? I don't know, I've never heard this voice before. How am I supposed to know who it is? Sorry, are you okay? Who's asking these questions? Pop Idol Girl, I'm really scared. There's like a ghost in here or something. I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Who? Who's okay? I was standing here perfectly fine the whole time. Don't snap on me, girl. Sorry about that. Oh, so, there we go. Makoto, you're back. I was sure worried about you. I'm sure glad you're not able to, you know, voice act your own stupid mind. But you know what? That's fine. Hey, I'm just, I'm just the voice in your head. The voice in your head that reads off a script. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. I'm done. 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 I'm back. Now I can put it on my headphones. Nope. Don't want it. So, I thought of things that I'd rather do than uh, voice Makoto because he's a dirty son of a bitch. Um, I'm going to read you a, a, a page from the WWE magazine that I, I found. It's about like, it's like 10 years old. Or something like that. I don't know. Hey, what we got here? Hey, Orton owns Florida. That's a pretty interesting thing. It's uh, not fair to account for home field advantage. That's a fun fact about that. I didn't, I didn't put that to, 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 to my brain. Uh, in Florida, because so many stars call the Sunside State. That's a, that's a tongue twister right there. Um, home. Florida may be the home of numerous legends. Legends, folks. Legends. You know who's not a legend? Well, we're not going to mention his name right now. Uh, but the state belongs to... A St. Louis native. A St. Louis native. That's amazing. I can't believe it. Hey, oh, hey. We got some charts and graphs down here, guys. Uh, apparently, uh, most Florida wins is Orton. Orton has won the most wins in Florida. Followed up in second place by Kane. Also, thought Kane lived in hell. Nope, Florida. This is, this is... This is baffling to me. This is, this is, number, number, number three is Triple H, which is weird because I'm pretty sure he lives in Connecticut, but I guess that's not his hometown, huh? <laughs> hey, the big show and John Cena, both at 10 wins in Florida. And of all these people on the list, you know who has zero wins in Florida? Makoto! Give me, give me the, give me the thing. I'm just gonna voice him. Hey, are you okay, Saeka? Are you hurt? I'm hurt, Makoto. I'm hurt immensely that you voiced about approximately five words. Five words. Five words. <laughs> oh, you're done talking to? <sighs> Fine. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but... I've actually built some pretty good muscles jumping up and down on stage. There's so many things I could say. So little time. Oh God! Oh God! Remember when I said the jokes about her calf muscles? Wow, this is getting spooky. This is like the second time something I said has come back and hit me. This game's fourth wall breaky too. I'm waiting for Monokuma to be like, Ryan, I'm the one who stopped all the voice acting. That would be the game's way of making me hate Monokuma. That's the only way. <laughs> That's good then. But are you okay? You know, from when Mondo hit you. That's true. 
I got knocked out right in front of everybody. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right from the beginning. Oh, uh, I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. <laughs> See? Just, he's saying that his arms, like, twisted backwards. Perfectly fine. That's good. I was kind of worried. That's right. I'm using all the voice acting I can. Thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Uh, um. I'm the one who carried you here with my calf muscles. Look at them calf muscles. Now look at them from this angle. Look at more of my calf muscles. Actually... I came to get you. You came to get me? Um, listen. Well, if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall? You see. After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. Hey, Saeka, why do you look just really pissed at me all of a sudden? <laughs> listen, you can bump me all you want, but don't you ever miss out on dinner! You will eat your three meals, or I'm gonna shove it down your throat. Okay, uh, Saeka, I want, I want, I'm gonna go back in my room. <laughs> oh, God. Please don't hurt me. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. So, we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we each found out. So, does that mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then, of course, I'll go with you. That's good. I'm sorry, did I- was I playing Silent Hill all of a sudden? Because, uh, that may have been the SCARIEST THING I'VE EVER SEEN! Did you see that? Did you see that face? That wasn't- I'm a cute pop idol. That's a- I will see you in hell. Good. I'll go ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. <laughs> did she just make that with her mouth? What's the map button? There we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. He's so adorable. He looks like a happy little hamster. Oh, I just want to keep him. I found the trash room. Let's go in the trash room. Oh, you're not gonna let me explore the trash room? Okay. Uh, dining hall. Wait. Wait, which one's the dining hall? We've got one with spaghetti and one with spoon and fork. Well, this is quite confusing. Why is the bath a freaking just broad panties? Why couldn't it have been warm water? Oh, that is the hot spring. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, I get it now. I get it. It's not spaghetti. Seika, no one's here. I'm starting to be... I'm, I'm extremely alarmed all of a sudden that now Saeka has asked me into the dining hall when nobody is here after I saw it face. Oh, God, she's gonna kill me. This must be the dormitory dining hall. Um... It looks pretty clean, so that's good. I guess that's not really important right now, with us being prisoners here and all. I don't know. I did get this sweet tool set for my birthday, so maybe it's not so bad. Yeah, that's true. Nobody was there waiting for us. We don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. <laughs> hmm, okay. Let's just wait here. I just I just said that in my brain. Oh, that's right. You Mr. Spiky Hair, he's supposed to be the ultimate clairvoyant, right? Which I guess means psychic. I'm going to guess he's an ultimate bullshit artist. He's not psychic at all. Like not even a bit. But she is psychic. You heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. I'm starting to think you're psychic. Is it really just intuition? No. No, it is not. If she reads your mind more than once, it's not intuition. <laughs> it's kind of sudden, I know. But here comes the tutorial. Oh. When purple words show up, if you press the right mouse button, you'll go into reaction mode. mode is it then gonna go to like a webcam of me like doing a reaction video and just be like the word of the day is pussy <laughs> whoa then I get a wacky reaction out of it well I want to check everything first um see the time's unknown I better look at this so uh what time is it right now Whee! it's seven o'clock at night uh, um. you were unconscious for a long time I see 
Without being able to look out the window, I've lost all sense of time. Also, the clock could be wrong, which could just mess you up even more. If I have to stay in a place for too long, I might just go crazy. Hey, Makoto, remember that statement you said about there not being a window? Somehow, I feel you could be wrong about that statement. <laughs> Why does it want me to look at all these surveillance cameras? Oh, apparently you get a penny. He was stuck behind his ear, apparently. I'm not gonna wander around. I'm just going to wait here patiently. All right. Whoa. <laughs> as we can see here, we watch as Saeka's soul slowly slips from her body. Or her shadow comes to kill her. Because I don't know if you've noticed, she has not one, but two shadows. <laughs> By the way, Makoto. Huh? What is it? Um. Well, it's just. I know this is kind of a continue the self introduction thing, but I wanted to ask you something. Mm. Oh, I see. Okay, alright, I think I get where this is going. So essentially, this is the game's way of doing like multiple, um, questions you know how usually in a visual novel it'll have like a point where it just stops and then it'll have a bunch of like questions and stuff I'd imagine this is going to be its way of asking questions continue the self introduction thing or wanted to ask you something I'm just wait nah I think we should do the I want to ask you something here what'd you want to ask me hmm. Makoto did you happen to go to Black Root Junior High Black Root Junior High? Oh, you mean undistinguishable color root Junior High. Yeah. Yeah, there's a big racist debate about that. But yes, yes I did. Were you maybe in class two? Yeah, yeah, I'd say it was. Oh, I remember you. You were the average boy. Oh no. <sighs> I knew it. You're starting to scare me there, Saika. I went there too. I would uh, wait, that's Monokuma. <laughs> Monokuma's there. I went there too. I went there too. I was in class four, though. Do you remember me? If you're in a different class, how would I remember you? <laughs> do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was. Listen, I know she's probably a, not a crazy person. But that face. Okay. Turn out the music. Put it in a black setting. Hey, you're sleeping in bed. You wake up. What's that over your bed? That face. Yeah. Yeah, it's not so nice, is it? <laughs> that she remembered me. We never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, um. Hey, are you okay? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm just surprised is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. We went to the same school for three years. Of course I remember you. Yeah, also, Makoto, remember the psychic thing? I think she may have, like, an amazing memory. <laughs> the moon's just up there. Hoo-hoo, <laughs> Makoto, you get that puss, bro? Moon! That is not appropriate to say around things. <laughs> well, that's true, but there were lots of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to ever really stand out. Oh, here it comes! Here comes his punchline! His fate, his all-time great Makoto punchline. I'm average at everything! I feel like every time he says I'm average at everything, he gets out a big megaphone. I'm average at everything! And all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. Then it wouldn't be normal, it'd be boring, you idiot. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're so strange. STRANGE! THAT'S... NOT... AVERAGE. <laughs> she started giggling even louder. That somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Her smile was the nicest smile I'd ever seen. That's good. You're talking about the last smile, not this smile, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna... I'm gonna blame it on the art style and that she's not actually crazy. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know someone here. Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all this. You're amazing, Makoto. No! No! 
I'm really not. Please, no. Average is all I have. I'm nothing at all compared to all you ultimates. <laughs> you know, uh, Makoto, I'm starting to think you do have an ultimate. You have the ultimate low self-esteem. <laughs> Literally, his spirit animal's Eeyore. But you're the one that helped me find my courage again. Not any of those ultimate students. Thanks for saying that. Okay. Okay, murdering time! Just stick a knife in there, Ryan, you might as well! And to thank you for helping me out, I'm going to become the... Oh. <laughs> I read Ultimate Assassin. <laughs> Your ultimate assistant. My... Huh? My assistant? <laughs> yep, I'm your assistant now. No! You can't! I have other people I picked over you! You can't follow me around, it'll be embarrassing! Alright, everyone, we gotta decide who's gonna die. It's, uh, <laughs> we're just like, like, way far away from Saika. No, Saika, stay over there! I need you to run on the typewriter! Keep, yeah! Yeah, you got it! Alright, we're killing Saika. I'm gonna help you as much as I can, so let's get out there, get out here together. When she says things like that, it... I can't believe there's no one here yet, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. There we go. Yeah, I can I can save whenever. Oh, guys. I can save whenever. Oh, guys. Guys, everyone. I can save whenever. Did you know I can save whenever? Oh, this game's amazing. I love this game now. It's a good game now. 10 out of 10. IGN. Anyways, I'm taking a break. Bye, everyone. <laughs>